welcome. We've just finished all of our shiplap walls on the curved walls, and now we're getting ready to get started on the ceiling framing. We're actually gonna frame a round hub to match the, uh, the hatch in the center of the roof. For future use, I'm gonna turn that into a skylight, and then we're gonna put two S6 rafters matching the ribs of the metal grain bin roof. Our whole thought is to try to replicate um, the dimensions of that roof down below. So first thing we're gonna do here, we gotta build our uh, round hub. That's gonna be an inch and a half thick framing component that's on a circle. We're gonna leave that open in the middle like a tunnel for our skylight and all of our rafters are gonna nail to it. In order to build a round hub like this, we need to have a jig. So we're gonna cut out a plywood, two plywood jigs and form like a little, uh, a little wall with some blocking. You'll see how we do this here. And that's gonna give us something to bend our plywood around to, to create this um, this round framing hub. It's a pretty tight turn, so to make uh, to get plywood that will conform to that, we're gonna use quarter inch uh, plywood. It's kind of a luon almost, um, and it'll take six layers of that to be built up to make an inch and a half. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut out our um, our plywood form here for our jig. The dimension of that round hub was 39 inches. That's the outside dimension. Of them. Again, we're gonna have an inch and a half thick framing component, so we're gonna lose three inches, an inch and a half on both sides. So we need um, this circle we're gonna cut out needs to be 39 minus three, uh, so that's uh, 36 inches. If you'll remember from a previous episode, we talked about how we can cut out curb plates. This is the same thing. Uh, we need a 36 inch circle, so I'm gonna get my center of my circle is going to be 18 inches from the edge. Um, I'll drive a nail in at 18, and then I'm going to use a piece of wire uh, to hold my pin on that radius, and we'll draw that out. There you got it, 36 inch circle. So we'll cut that out and then we can just lay that down and trace that for our other one. Okay, we got our circles cut out for our hub, so next thing we gotta cut blocking. Our plywood's gonna be 12 inch rips, so our overall height of our hub here is gonna be 12 inches. We got uh, three quarter inch plywood, top and bottom, so it'd be 12 minus inch and a half, so we'll have 10 and a half inch uh, pieces of blocking here, so we'll cut those out next. Okay, so I'm gonna put these blocks, I'm marking it out here. We're gonna put them eight inches on center. Okay, we ripped off our plywood panels to 12 inches. Again, we're using quarter inch Luon plywood and we're gonna have to attach um, at least the first layer or so to this. We got six layers, I think. Uh, so we, the overall thickness will be inch and a half. So we'll start putting our quarter inch all the way around this hub. Again, this hub just conforms our curve for us. Each layer that we do, we're gonna put um, a layer of glue in between so that it locks all together. So get ready to get started on it.
All right, there you got it. We got six layers of uh, quarter inch plywood conformed to our hub. Jew is actually gonna paint on some glue on all of our joints just to lock it all in. If you notice, we, we put glue between every single layer. So we're gonna go eat lunch and let this set up. That glue takes about an hour to dry. And uh, then we'll take this hub apart okay, out of the middle here and we're gonna use this. We're gonna start on our rafter frame. Yeah. Okay, I gotta lay out my round hub. Um, I found the perfect center of it both directions, kind of like a, a cross there. So I've got my two centers marked, they're opposing sides. And when I go to set my rafters, I'm gonna set those four rafters to the round hub and that will pin that round hub perfectly centered up in the roof. But I'm gonna go ahead and lay out now then for all the other uh, rafters. I've got 32 of them. There's 32 ribs, 32 rafters. So I need them evenly spaced all around this hub. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that down here on the floor. A little easier than up in the air. I'm gonna lay out this outside wall here. And what I'm gonna do is just simply drop down from the existing ribs. It's kind of nice for us. We've already got a, a roof here to pattern. So I'll take my level here, line up with the ribs and mark it. And that'll be the center of my rafter. I'm gonna go through here and mark all these out real quick. Okay, as you can see, we just set our hub and our four opposing rafters, and then we can take it. We had a, a two before kind of strapped up holding the hub up in place as we set it. But um, now that we've got these four in, we can take that down and it's holding itself. So we're going to go down and cut all the rest of the rafters and fill them all in and uh, get the rest of this framing up. Going to lay out and cut all of our rafters here. It was a 912 pitch on this, so we're going to lay out all of our rafters and um, cut them. All these rafters will be the same thing as it fits around the circle to this round hub. Okay, we got all of our rafters up. Again, there's 32 of them, same size. They match the rib of the existing um, roof metal. Mm -hmm. 